Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, they finally announced some of the beginning eligible dragons that will be... What? They announced that the five dragons that will be unbound for the fifth time. These are basically buffs to some older dragons that have been kind of... A lot of people have been wanting and hoping for. So now we kind of get to see what direction they're going to be taking this, so... I'm going to look them over and give my thoughts about them. And that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It really supports the channel. It really helps me out a whole bunch. I would really appreciate it. Um, you can comment. Tell me about what you feel about these specific dragons. How how they ended up becoming good for you. No. Why can't I speak English today? How you like them. <laughs> and you can sub to me if you want more of me in general so let's get into it so the first eligible dragons are basically all the ones that were there from the beginning of the game and the high dragons agni poseidon zephyr jean the arc nidhogg high midgersoma high brunhilda high mercury high jupiter and high zodiac so let's go agni the very first dragon my very first dragon i actually got funny enough devastation deals damage to enemies in a line same same exact skill so i'm gonna assume this means that none of the skills were changed abilities flame strength 65 percent if the user is attuned to flame increase strength by 65 percent surge of strength one if the user is attuned to flame grants the users a surge of strength effect at the start of the quest for 180 seconds during surge of strength the user's uh, strength is increased by 30 percent so that makes him 95 percent for about three minutes <laughs> And also because this is a, um, a Surge of Strength is a specific name, it should be immune to nihility, so it shouldn't disappear because of it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's look at someone else. Poseidon. Poseidon's Trident looks exactly the same. No change, no extra effect, nothing. Abilities, HP, and Strength 40%. Strength... Uh, surge of Strength 2, if the user is attuned to water, grants the user a Surge of Strength, 40% Strength. Okay, so that's 80% Strength and 40% HP. And that 80% has only lasted for the first 3 minutes for water. Okay, honestly. Zephyr. Zephyr's Wrath deals damage to surrounding enemies and inflicts stun. Wind Strength, 65%, so I'm going to assume it's the same. Yep, 30% for the first 3 minutes. Jean the Arctic, Light HP 65%, Surge of Strength 4, if the user is attuned to Light, increase their attack by 60%. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> this is actually really good for a lot of reasons. So here's one reason why it's very good and why it's. I think this one might actually be my favorite of the bunch. Is that Jean the Arc is really more of a support kind of dragon because of the um, HP she's giving to the unit. And there are specific units that... Uh, Light, for some reason, has very specific uh, support units that can actually use a buff of some HP and also some strength for the beginning fight. So if they just are super strong for the first three minutes of it, I think that's pretty damn solid. And then once three minutes have passed, they still have 65% more HP. It's not a bad deal. It's pretty good, I would say. So, thanks a lot. This is also one of my second dragon, I believe. Second, uh, yeah, oh man, I'm back in the day. Heady ass days. Nidhogg, total eclipse of the hearts. Shadow, HP and strength percent, uh, 40%, so that means surge of strength is 40%, so that's 80% strength, 40% HP. High Midgarsoma, 40% HP and strength. Wind surge of strength 2, so that's 40% strength for the first uh, three minutes, and then for the entirety of it, if Regardless of their attunement, they always get 20% more ship shift time, which is nice. So I'm going to assume that this is the exact same for all the other dragons. Hi, Brunhilde. Yes, that is correct. So all these other high dragons are exactly the same as each other. So they're exact same effect as my boy Midgar Summer here. Okay, sure, sure. So these are the starting buffs for these units. Very interesting. Um, funny enough, these buffs actually make Agni stronger than mars i would still consider mars better because he gets all skills back when the shapeshift end but you can't deny he is a very strong boy for those first three minutes this is actually probably going to be more helpful for people who don't have a lot of options for dragons early on which i think is perfectly fine 
if we take a look at the dragons over here, uh, let me quickly go to fire and we can look at loot. So the best fire dragons that I would consider are Gala Reborn Agni, Goza Tenno, Gala Mars, um, and Phoenix. These are the four. <laughs> these are the four fire dragons that I always use. Phoenix is always on Lowen. Um, Goza Tenno is usually on Galileo. Gala Reborn Agni, uh, not Agni. Gala Mars is usually on. Um, Mim, and then I have a, sp a two of Gala Mars because I never pulled Gala Reborn Agni. Now, funny enough, with this, I might actually, for that side unit, put this Agni over them. Because even though it is only for three minutes, for some fights, not a lot of endgame fights, though. And probably a lot of um, fights like Nihility-based content where it takes a very long time to beat someone. Like, for example, Tartarus. You will lose this ability of Tartarus with Gene Arc by the end of it. I can guarantee you that right now. Um, but for some other fights, it can be very useful to have that big strength super early on. I also think, again, this is really good for starting players. Once they get full 5 unbinds. Now, the funny thing is, is that I do say that... But I guess you can farm Dracon Draconic Essences, so it actually would be fairly easy for you to get um, these dragons to max unbound pretty easy. Back in my day, when you had to actually pull all the dragons or use a Sunlight Stone, it was a pain in the ass. But actually, things have changed, so I need to remember that. Um, I think it's a pretty good option. Uh, for real, I really do think that a lot of the dragon options in Dragalia are just bad. Like like I said, these these dudes are limited. But if you don't have them, like your best shot next is kind of Hanasaki. You can't use the Dread King Raphalos or regular Raphalos. Those are both Monster Hunter, so they're also out of the game. Uh, Mini held up, beautiful, very cute dragon, can't really use, Horus not really usable, Kagetsuchi not really usable, I think in some instances you can use Apollo and Arctos, Prometheus I think in some instances you might be able to use, let me look at his effect just of what I can remember, yeah there is some instances where you might want him but for the most part you don't really need him, so I really do think a lot of them needed a buff. So them kind of making them slightly better is very nice. So let's look at water real quick. I think for the longest time, the only real usable water unit was... Um, where is he? Where is that bastard referee? Where is that referee? The bunnies. But now it's kind of a little bit different where you can actually use someone like Gallery Born Poseidon. In some instances, you could actually use Dragon Hill Jean if you wanted. And Leviathan, funny enough, because of some of his abilities right here. Because he was a strength dragon, so he's pretty good to just give someone. And giving Bog on tidal stream is also pretty good, I would say. Siren, of course, another one that's actually pretty good. But, I digress. Yeah, more options in general for people is good. Because I really do think, for some options, for as many dragons that Dragalia has, a lot of them just have really weird specific effects like you long 40% strength come on come on I'm pretty sure this is a free to play dragon so let me look at another one just to be sure was he a yeah he was okay to be more fair let's like look at a non it's like a menthos the fresh maker when strength of water resistance 30% Yeah, this is not amazing. It's very weird. It's a very, like, technical skill in a game that <laughs> you really don't need it. <laughs> so it ends up being the things that are most basic, such as strength up, HP up, haste, end up being the best thing. Like, Vayu, for example, is a very good wind dragon. Just because he's just like, here's 90% skill damage and 20% strength. It's all you need from me, man. It's all you need. You don't need to have a super complicated effect as long as you are effective in doing something very simple. So, yeah. I'm not sure how much use I... Again, for Agni, I can definitely have a use because he's a strength-type dragon. For some of these other ones, I'd have to kind of think about it. Gene Arc. So for me, for sure, Gene Arc and Agni are kind of my main go-tos for this, of, I think, being the best of the batch. The rest of them are usable now. Definitely usable. Not for endgame content, because again, the three minute timer limit is a big pain in the butt. But Poseidon, Zephyr, Nidhogg, High Midgar Somer, High Brunhilda, High Mercury, High Jupiter, 
high zodiac can now actually be used by some people who are starting out in at least for certain content that extra bit of strength will be enough to let them win and i think that's pretty important in a game like this where it's like sometimes you don't need the super powerful dragon sometimes you just need a good in between until you get better stuff and this is definitely i think a pretty good instance of that of building something where right now it might not be good to someone who's fully built out, but they're now actually usable for a lot of people. And like I said, I'm someone who's been playing for three years, don't have, um, doy, don't have Gala Reborn Agni. I could probably use them in some cases where it's not a super end game content style thing. So good job. I can't wait to see it when they start giving these to units with a little bit more interesting effects, because hopefully they'll help. Because the, the thing that always kind of sucks about the units with interesting effects is that they never make them strong enough, or they lack in certain other areas that makes them viable. So hopefully they'll start thinking about that for them, and they'll make them better. And hopefully not all of them have a three-minute cooldown, because I actually wouldn't mind. I actually think that later on, as the game gets more crazy going... I think it might not be good enough to have a three minute time limit on stuff, but I digress. Till next time, everyone. That's my opinion on this. Hope you like this video. You can leave your opinion down below and leave a like because, again, it helps me. And until next time, y'all have a good night. Peace out.